Sharma and here on E-Times I've got with me Mithila Palkar along with Vikram Fadnes two people who I have interacted with before multiple times but Vikram I have to ask you one big question how on earth every single time do you manage to put so many looks together in such little time uh I think it's a it's I like taking people into a, a a dream world into an experience I don't believe that people who come to spend 20 minutes at a fashion show just need to see clothes uh I like the idea of a production I like the idea of stage light sound hair makeup clothes um the whole idea is not to just put up a number of clothes on ramp the idea is to take them into an experience for that 20 minutes and that drives me it gives me an adrenaline rush and I think that's what kept me going for so many years You know, I've seen you in the past three days in the hotel, running around lobbies and putting stuff together. Whether it's with your models, whether it's with your team, that professionalism till now, after so many years, still continues, right? What drives you? Uh, the fact that if you take your success for granted, you're surely about to fail. It's the beginning of an end, which I don't uh, want to see in my career. I believe that uh, every show I want to give it a hundred percent because every single person sitting in that audience may be a first-time uh, spectator. I can't take my work or the brand or the name for granted. Um, I want to give it my hundred percent till I can, and that's what fashion means to me. Mithila, this personally feels like a huge win because you walked the ramp for the very first time. That too for Vikram Fadnis. Yeah, for him. Yes. For him. Um, because I have seen you since like our college <laughs> days, right? Like Mithila was a baby, by the way. When I, I think when I was a baby, she's still a baby. Still a baby yeah. Time, yeah. And you know, I'm not even kidding. Not because I know you from before, but it's also because she had so much, so much, so much talent even back then. And now, when you're doing this on the ramp, I do understand when you're facing camera for stage or for YouTube or for films, it's different. But when you're on ramp, it's that one break it or like you know make it moment. What was it like for you just a few seconds before you were about to go there? I was nervous. I was shivering. It is like um, I'm a theatre actor, so it is. It was literally like going on stage before any show, right? And this is a show that I was putting up. So uh, I was really nervous. But he walked me through before, uh, obviously, when we were rehearsing, and made me really comfortable. Told me to just just be myself and just feel the space and just go for it. And that's what I did. Um, we can tell me something. You know, you've done costume as well for films, and of course, there's runway and the styling and the designing. How is each design aesthetic of yours different from the other? Especially when it's a show for, like, a finale show for Pune Times Fashion Week. What goes behind? I uh, I think the whole idea and the agenda to do a finale show or to put up a show for 20 minutes is that you have to set your own benchmark and you have to beat it on your own. Uh, I've never tried to see what another competitive brand does because we're all in the same business of glamour and entertainment. So for me, it's very important to raise. the bar set the bar and break it myself so for me i go by what my last uh, you know in this industry you're best known for the last job done um in films it's friday to friday and in fashion it's your collection to collection so for me i like raising my own bar you know there's so much chat and chatter about ai and technology and 3d and graphics how do you use technology in like you know when it comes to styling uh, i'm technology challenged um i need a manager to do that um even if it's a instagram story that i have to put i have to check it where i'm i'm completely technology ch- uh, challenged because i've not grown up in the era of that and uh, for me um social media following um you know uh what's what's what the world is putting out there is very relevant and important in today's time but i think the game each one plays his own and for me i've grown up in an era where they didn't exist and i'd like to still keep it more controlled so for me though there's ai and there's there's so much going around um, uh, you know in technology wise in terms of fashion i like to keep it simple and basic that is what drives me actually mithila tell me something you know as far as your social media game is concerned do you put thought into it or you're just like ah, i'm going to take it how it comes I take it how it how it comes because that's how I've grown on the internet. I've grown organically. I've not ever thought about oh, if I take a step, B will happen, and I want to keep it that way because otherwise, it's not organic. It's not me. It's not real. Uh-huh. Vikram, I want to ask you this specifically. How do you balance your creativity, you know, along with like your practical considerations such as costs mm. and logistics and stuff like that? It's difficult. uh meeting demand and supply with so much uh, competition in the market it is difficult but at the end of the day you've i um, uh, you've set your own brand ethos of what your brand stands for um, um i like i make only practical clothes i want that anybody sitting in the audience can identify with an outfit and say i want to wear that i don't want to make him practical clothes or i don't want to put costs into something that people can't afford or wear So for me practicality and commercial uh, profitability is very very important. That is why if you see any outfit of mine of the runway can be sold in a store. 
Um, lastly, I have a common question for the both of you. I want to understand as a designer for you, what is that misconception that you feel should be like goddamn shattered right now? Uh, a misconception that should be shattered. There are many, especially in the game of business of fashion and entertainment. Um, we are, uh, our minds are tuned that you've got to put out everything out to the world on a public platform. Yeah. For me, it's very important to have sanity because when I go to sleep in the night, I don't want to see on my phone 45 minutes before I sleep onto knowing what's going on in the world of the business of entertainment and fashion because that is my work. It is not my life. So for me, that needs to be shattered. It needs to be this thing that there has to be a department between your personal and professional life in today's times, which is completely yeah, gone off. Are. Yeah. Love the fact that you're so vocal about stuff, man. Like it's just so inspiring. Mithila, coming to you, what is that one thing that you'd like to like shackle? And it doesn't go necessarily for fashion, but entertainment in general. He almost told my answer <laughs> because I always say that you know a lot of times I don't post in real time, and I may be talking for myself because a lot of people do that. So there is always like, oh, you said uh, your geo tag says London. When did you come to London? And I don't post in real time, so not you don't necessarily have to do that just because you have that device. Live in the moment. I try to. I'm not saying that I always succeed, but what he said basically. <laughs> A quick round out about today's collection. Um, it was resort wear mixed with uh, luxury pret. Um, I chose black uh, essentially is predominantly in a color where nobody uses it in spring summer because I wanted to uh, say it's fine. It's fine to wear black because yeah. So everybody says it has to be pastels and dress. I said no, let's go for black. And my team was like, sir, are you sure? And I said yes. Let's get let's do something out of the box. And uh, I think it's. Uh, it's, it just showed it was magical on the runway. The girls carried it off beautifully. She wore a beautiful butterfly yellow. And um, I think it was just the, the, the whole element of the drama of the colors that went on on, on the runway was, was, was what got me uh, as a designer standing at the sound console. I can't let you go because the last time when I spoke to you with Pariniti in Bombay, you were very excited about your Goa show and of course the store. How's it going right now? It's brilliant. You just did a show, right? Yeah. Uh, it's brilliant because um, Goa is home for me now. Um, I live there uh, 10 days a month. Um, I'm writing my film over there. It gives me peace of mind. I'm cut off from um, a robotic life in Bombay. Um, I love it. Um, I am essentially from Goa. And uh, yeah, I'm loving uh, what I do at this age in my personal life and my career, um, which is 33 years. But I'm loving what I'm doing right now because I feel I'm going back to where I started. And that's the driving force that's keeping me alive right now in Goa. Great. Thank you so much, Vikram. Thank you so much, Mithila. Lovely chatting with you guys. Thank you.